Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin, and we're gonna be looking at an updated logarithmic regression chart of the prices, um, or of the Bitcoin price. So if you guys like the content, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Please give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. So if you're unfamiliar with these, these are our logarithmic regression bands of Bitcoin. So instead of just having, you know, the, the one at the base that's fit to non-bubble data, and then the one at the top here we have you know just a, a string of bands to try to identify various phases of where we are within a market cycle for instance you know you some of the things you note right right away are, are is the fact that you know this band over here our bottom from this cycle was one regression band higher than it was for this cycle so this one was be between the purple and yellow this one was between the yellow and orange and then in the most recent cycle, we dipped back down to, you know, the yellow and orange regression band here and came back out, you know, came back out to the purple and then back down. And we even came back down another regression band in holding with the idea of, of um, you know, going back down one more regression band each cycle. Obviously, we haven't spent a whole lot of time there. It doesn't mean we will. It doesn't mean we won't. But I just want to identify the fact that in the last cycle, we stayed within these two bands for two years okay so we've been between the yellow and orange band for a fairly significant amount of time already we did peak above it in 2019 and then came back down into it and we're currently into it right now but again in lieu of lengthening cycles we would anticipate continuing to march along within these lower regression bands before finding our way back up closer to the top now one of the things um, i want to highlight is that this chart is from a few months ago uh, when I when I mass when I when I last made a video on the regression if we update it to the current day if I toggle between this chart and the next one you can see that's what happened so we essentially came back down to the orange band uh, and are, are just above it right now if I plot over this this is the um, the, the regression band fit to non bubble data and then this regression band is solely uh, solely fit to the peaks of the price of Bitcoin when it's having that new paradigm shift. And you can see, you know, you can see right where we are. And and, and one of the things we've, we've talked about too, of course, is the idea that each market cycle, we tend to drop down, you know, approximately two and a half regression bands and expecting to continue to drop down, uh, you know, more regression bands for the next cycle. So this is the general idea, right? Continuing to, to more or less monotonically move up. Uh, not exactly monotonically, of course, but, you know, look, moving methodically and slowly up back to the prior all-time high before we get that uh, price discovery mode and we go parabolic. I just, I, I make these videos, uh, you know, every couple months just so people can see, you know, where we are within the phase of the cycle. And of course, we know that, you know, this is one possible path. It's also possible we drop back down to the lower band and, and, and then keep on going up and, and ultimately end up at the same place. So there's obviously a lot of options. Uh, it's just the path that we get there can can obviously vary. So one of the things we've looked at too, right, is the the you know the, the angle change, and of course this depends on your aspect ratio. But just looking at how the the angle of the from the bottom to the peak changes each cycle, and then just projecting out, and then I you know I, I like uh, showing things sometimes in geometric ways, so just filling these in, right, and showing you know kind of how these look like, right, how these cycles play out and looking at our, our peaks, right, our first peak, our second peak, and, and looking at, you know, this was really quick uh, and, and, you know, rapid and a pretty nice ROI, not as quick, right, and a, and a less, and not, not as much of an ROI from the, from the bottom, and then again, not as much of an ROI, but uh, also taking, taking longer as well, and then the same thing yet again. So we're still on, on, on track, of course, um, and if we if we make those transparent, you can you know you can easy you know, more easily see you know the, the price and where it, where it comes into play, and how how each market cycle is has been completely on track to do what it was always going to do, and and so I, the contention right is that we're still completely on track for Bitcoin to see the new paradigm shifts sometime in the next uh, three years approximately, um, uh, give or take six to eight months. You know, of course, we are coming up on 2021. So once we get there, we can say, okay, we're approximately only two years away. Uh, but for now, we're still, I think, in my opinion, 
you know, I think we're three years away because I think the next peak is probably going to be in 2023. Clearly, there could be some uncertainty on that, but I, 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 I certainly don't think it's 2021. And so I just wanted to just kind of show these thoughts in a more geometric way so that maybe people can identify better and look at, you know, without looking at all the noise of the actual price, but just looking at these macro level trends, right, you know, up and, and rapidly down, right? Up again, but the slope has, has, has decreased, down again. Up again, the slope has decreased, down again. Up again, the slope has decreased, eventually down again. So I, I contend that we're currently, right, you know, in this in this upper, you know, go, move, slowly moving up, right? Slowly moving up over the next several years. So let me know what you guys think. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you guys like the content. The regression bands, of course, are, are something that I think we can use especially at the peak of the next cycle, you know, to try to identify where our, our next top is. Of course, we can also use the risk levels. Um, if you want access to the premium list, which has the risk levels, remember the prices are going up in, in two days. So on September 28th, the prices are going up. So if you want access to a more data science analytical community to navigate the cryptocurrency markets and some other markets, we're adding in other markets as time goes on. Uh, but if you want this, you know, this premium content, make sure you check out into the cryptoverse.com. Prices are going up in two days. So if you want to get grandfathered in at the lower prices, you should sign up before September 28th. You get access to six different things. The premium telegram alerts channel, right, which is where I tell you my candid thoughts on the market basically daily, the private chat room, the risk dashboard, the premium videos weekly, the weekly premium reports and the dynamic DCA selling strategy dashboard, where you essentially can put in you know, what you think the projected price of Bitcoin or Ethereum might be, and then following various dynamic DCA strategies, what would be the most um, appealing to you, right? So you can see if you become too aggressive, right, what you could be leaving on the table, or if you take more of a moderate approach, what you're, you know, what you're making sure that you, you lock in the bag, right, or lock in the bank rather than uh, essentially gamble it, waiting for that, you know, that once in a lifetime opportunity that may or may never come. So if you guys like the content, make sure you check out the website into the cryptoverse.com. Prices are going up in, t in two days. Uh, in addition to that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you guys like the content, please check out the Telegram channel as well. If you're looking for a community, we have over 6,000 people there. So check it out and give the video a thumbs up. Thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye.